Now, what's next for you guys? Uh, well, we got uh, Central Harden on Wednesday. We know that already. They got to buy in the bracket, so uh, we know who we got. We got uh, one more day of practice, and we're right back here to play another round. Uh, you guys were able to shut another opponent out. Uh, I think it was a 1-0 after halftime. Uh, you guys are used to playing and staying in the lead. What kind of mentality do you try to keep in the, your team's head to, to keep the momentum going? We knew uh, we knew before the game started that, that the 50-50 balls in the back were going to be real important. They got a, a good keeper that can punt the ball a long way. Uh, they, they got go kicks that go a long way, so we knew if we could win that first ball in the air at our back line, follow up with the second ball, that we'd be in good shape, really cut them off um, on, on their attack, and I thought we did that really well tonight. Our, our back line, uh, our center backs, Hunter Jesse and Seth King did an excellent job. Uh, Griffin Hall, Caden Pace played in the back with them all night and did, a, did an outstanding job. And uh, I, I couldn't be happier about that. That was kind of our game plan going in. We knew we had to win those balls, and we did, we did a really good job of that. Well, you guys uh, were very aggressive. Is aggression something that, that you guys keep as uh, one of the key things to, to take into each game? Yeah, it is. I mean, obviously, we want to come out and, and be the aggressor um, and, and set the tone the way we like to play. And I thought we did that as well tonight. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're a big team as well. So uh, it, was a, it was a pretty physical match. I thought the referee did a good job of handling that, keeping that in line. But, uh, but yeah, we always want to be aggressive and, uh, you know, uh, use our bodies and, and we, we teach that so I, I was happy with that effort too. Now postseason play uh, it could be a lot of pressure you know guys can be nervous because it is single elimination is there anything that you like to keep in the team's mind or just to keep them relaxed or keep the edge off of them? I mean you know we we were obviously disappointed with our with our district results we were, we're runner up so in my mind we're coming in here as kind of the underdog and uh, that takes a lot of the pressure off uh, I, I'm not sure that Taylor County has ever won a, a regional game before today. So, um, you know, anything that we do is, uh, is going to be uh, really, really good for our program. So we're, we're, we're happy with today. I guess uh, the best way I would describe it would be going forward, just playing with house money because we're, you know, we're, we're the underdog from now on out. We were the underdog today. Thomas Nelson's already beat us once. Um, so, you know, we're happy with where we're at. Hopefully we can keep it rolling and uh, really surprise some more people. So what are some things you guys are going to do in preparation for the next round? Uh, you know, having one day in between, knowing that if we if we win Wednesday, we've got another game, uh, you know, three games in four days, it's going to be tough on the guys. I, I don't expect we'll do a whole lot tomorrow other than just trying to get loose and, and get some touches on the ball, to try to get the soreness out. Uh, we haven't seen Central this year, so I'm, I'm not real sure, uh, you know, how we need to specifically uh, prepare for them, but hopefully that's something that, that uh, you know the coaches can, can do tonight and, and tomorrow before practice, and, and specify those things that we feel like we need to address before Wednesday. All right, well, thanks, Coach. Good luck to you guys against Central, and uh, good luck to you guys. I hope for the best. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you.